everyone, I'm Abby from Pals, and this is Pebbles. I'm gonna be catifying my room some more, and hopefully Pebbles here will like some of it. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on how my last video went in the long term. So I haven't had a lot of traction on these. A little bit on these. Not really any on these. And a lot of the ones that I hung up aren't really getting played with a, lo a whole lot. Uh, these are pretty popular because the kitties like to jump up here and sometimes they bump them. And that's what I think it is, that um, they're really, they don't move. And so there's nothing really making the cats want to get them. But uh, Luca, my little brown tabby, really likes going across here and sitting up here, as you can tell. I definitely need to wash that. <laughs> but hopefully today we can figure out some more stuff that the kitties will like. So this is a rather twisted up cat tube that we've had for quite some time. It's been under my bed for a while, it's been in our living room, and now it's just sitting here. And so I think today I'm gonna to try to give it a permanent home. All right, so what I've done here is I've just put the cat tube underneath this little jewelry box that I have so that it's kind of out of the way from my main area and so that it comes out in a nice little hidden area under my chair here. And hopefully I can get Luca to be interested in this one. She's actually the only one of our cats who likes the cat tube. <laughs> so, I'm just hoping she'll enjoy it. See if we can get her used to the tube. Kitty! She's checking it out. <laughs> might need a little bit more time with that. If I ever make a Catify 3, I'll tell you guys how it went. Alright, so when thinking of things to try to do, well, I thought of doing something a little bit cheesy. I'll show it's you. possibly the silliest thing ever, but I've tied a piece of yarn to the fish toy and I've tied it to my desk. <laughs> and so... <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> we'll see if this actually gets any traction from any of the pets. She keeps on looking at it like she's interested and then going back to cleaning herself. So this is how I get her to play with it. So, um, Luca found my string idea more entertaining than I originally thought she had. I'm gonna go come up with some better ideas. <laughs> Through the magic of editing, I am back with ideas. So, the first thing was an idea I found on Pinterest that I will link in the description. And I'm not doing it exactly here, but I got some toilet brushes from Dollar Tree. And what I've done is I've taken them off of the handles. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those really soon. I've also got a kitty kicker with a little ball on it. It's very mesmerizing. And my kitty cat already seems a bit interested. She's looking at it. 
Now this is something that's not really a huge modification to my room in any way. I'm just gonna put it on the floor somewhere and see if she likes it. But you know, these small things can really actually help keep your kitties entertained. She's still sniffing it out, seeing if it's good or not. I hope it is. So the idea with this brush is to attach it to the wall on this corner so that it gives the cats something to brush up against. So what I ended up doing is creating a little bit of a cat nook. I tied the brushes to the walls in hopes that the cats will brush against them. And I put the kicker right in the floor. Hopefully this will become a nice little hot spot. It can be hard to tell at first whether a cat likes something or not. That's something that I've definitely learned while making these videos. So for the end of this video, I at least want to try to see if she shows any interest in the cat nook that I've created. Like I said, it can be pretty hard to tell if a cat likes something or not. If I ever make a third Catify video, like I said before, I'll definitely update you guys on how this went. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video was informational and entertaining.